This episode is sponsored by Cash App. Cash App is the easiest way to send, spend, and save money. Send or request cash from friends and family when they owe you for groceries, holiday gifts, or a round of drinks. Cash App is available for anyone 13 or older. Download it and use code BABISH to get $15 for free, and $10 will be donated to No Kid Hungry. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> How does he do it? You know, I don't see how you can sit there reading that and not even offer me any. I gave you a taste. What do you want? Why can't we share? I told you not to say anything. You can't go in there, brazenly flout the rules, and then think I'm going to share with you. Do you hear yourself? I'm sorry. This is what comes from living under a Nazi regime. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're taking a look at the crab bisque from Seinfeld. Nothing specific is known about the bisque, except that it's so good that your knees buckle under the weight of its greatness. So I'm just gonna set out to make the best damn soup that I can. First up, a simple seafood stock. I'm starting by combining roughly chopped carrots, celery, and onion, a handful of shrimp, a handful of crab claws, a whole head of garlic cut in half across the cloves, and about a pound of chicken wings to bring flavor and body to our stock. I'm also gonna add one large parsnip, roughly chopped, a big pinch of kosher salt and several spirited squirts of vegetable oil because before we turn this into stock we're going to roast everything in a 400 degree fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes for a deeper flavor convection in this case is preferable because it's going to increase browning just pull it once the corners of things start to almost turn black now i'm going to add some boiling water to the pan because we got some beautiful fond on the bottom of it and i'm keen for all that flavor to end up in my stock and not in my sink so now that we got everything in a large stock pot we're going to cover it with cold water to which we're going to add a few more delicious things about a tablespoon of whole peppercorns, a bunch of tarragon, a bunch of parsley, a couple to thruple of bay leaves, and last but not least, a generous pinch of saffron threads. Then we're gonna partially cover and simmer this guy for two to three hours, yielding a rich, flavorful seafood stock the color of honeyed sunshine. Go ahead and set these aside or refrigerate because it's time to make our soup proper. In a large high-walled saute pan, we're preheating one to two tablespoons of vegetable oil over medium-high heat, adding four finely chopped shallots and one large carrot and celery stalk roughly chopped. Saute these together for about five minutes or until well sweated. Then we're adding about half a pound of fresh lump crab meat, sauteing together with the aromatics for about one minute before adding two cloves of crushed garlic, a quarter cup of tomato paste, and the zest of one large orange. Now saute that together for one to two minutes or until a thick, sticky fawn starts to form on the bottom of the pot. So we get to participate in the sacred ritual of deglazing. In this case, with about a cup of dry white wine, making sure to scrape up all that good stuff off the bottom of the pot. We're also gonna add about a quart of our seafood stock along with a tablespoon of red miso paste for an umami boost, and about a quarter cup of white rice. This can help thicken and give body to the soup once blended, a couple of bay leaves because this is seafood and they are required, and a whole roasted red pepper for flavor, body, and color. Bring this guy to a simmer and hold it there until the rice is cooked, about 25 to 30 minutes. Then remove from the heat and get ready to blend. First, we're gonna take the opportunity to rescue the two bay leaves and adjust our soup's liquidity, adding more stock if it looks like things are gonna be too thick. Now in small blender bowl appropriate batches, I'm going to puree this soup for about two minutes on high speed until it is a velvety concoction that both feels and tastes absolutely creamy despite containing no cream. This is by virtue of the little bit of white rice that we added earlier. That being said, I'm trying to make this as delicious as possible, so of course I'm going to add some cream to it. Back onto the stovetop it goes. Also, why did they even put a spout on these things if it's not going to pour good? Rant over, I'm sorry you guys had to see that. I'm adding two tablespoons of heavy cream, tiny whisking to combine, and tasting for seasoning. And now's the time that we bring our flavors home with kosher salt and a little bit of ground white pepper so as to not bespeckle our soup. Keep tasting and adjusting until it tastes outrageously perfect. Pour a little bit directly onto your counter for good luck, and the rest of the soup we want to strain through a fine mesh sieve to ensure a smooth end-user experience. Pour this around a small mound of steamed lump crab meat, and to make for an elegant presentation, we're going to garnish with a single sprig of dill, some big old flakes of finishing salt, a few twists of freshly ground black pepper because it looks better on the surface of the soup, a drizzle of heavy cream for a little added richness a drizzle of high quality spicy olive oil, and some scattered fresh tarragon. And there you have it, the most badass crab bisque I can muster. The only question that remains is, how's it taste? And I don't mean to pat myself on the back here, but this is outrageously good. It's got rich, layered flavors, it's stupendously crabby and seafoody, and most importantly, in order to eat it, you gotta sit down.
Thanks again to Cash App for sponsoring today's episode. Use Cash App to send, spend, and save your money. You can invest in any stock or buy Bitcoin with just $1. Cash App also comes with a customizable debit card that will be laser printed and mailed to you. When you download the app, use code BABISH to get $15 for free and $10 will be donated to No Kid Hungry. Cash App is available for anyone 13 or older. Download it at the link in the video description. 